Hi folks, this video is going to look at the notation editor in Aurelia and Musician 5. Now this is not Sibelius, it's not Finale or Note Flight, but it is a great little tool for creating short extracts that you can then import into your library and use as the basis for multiple choice questions, dictation questions, and a whole variety of other things. Okay, let's jump into the settings for the notation. And here you see we can select our meter, assign beat grouping and beaming, and also apply an anacrusis if we like. We can also select to use the shortened last bar that matches the anacrusis. We can set the length of the extract, our playback tempo, tonality, and assign our key signature. Now down below, we can create as many different parts as we like. Let's take this first part that's here and let's change this to be a flute part. You can see by default it has the treble clef assigned to it and the part name is displayed. You can also see the playback sound and channel that is selected for the instrument. Right down the bottom here, there are also some options for stem direction if you have multiple voices in the one part. Okay, let's add a few more parts. So let's create a piano grand staff. So I'll create two piano parts. Assign the second one to have the bass cliff. And then brace them together. Okay. Now finally, we might just add an unpitched percussion part. Perhaps uh, clave sticks. Now that we've added all our parts and set our score settings, we can come in and actually edit the notation itself. So now we can simply select our rhythmic values and enter the notation on the staff. Note that you can also use the number pad on your computer keyboard to select your rhythmic values, and this really speeds up the note entry process. You'll notice here that it is quite easy to remove any existing note by simply selecting it. Just add some bass notes here. And let's add some notes for our percussion part. Great, okay, let's have a listen. Okay, now let's have a look at a few of the different modes that are available in the notation editor. So the one we've been using so far is the straight notate mode. Now, if you are entering just a single note melody, then you can select the notate single notes option. So in this case, that will simply replace the existing note with the new note. The other mouse modes allow you to enter chord symbols. So we'll select where we want to place the chord and we'll choose the chord. Now we can also add contemporary or, or jazz chord symbols as well. Mm -hmm. 
And the final mode is just select to play. So if you need to hear a particular bar, a particular part, you can do that in isolation. Great, so now we've got a two bar piece with these four parts and we can use this for a multitude of different question types from basic melodic dictation, rhythm dictation, through to harmonic analysis or harmonic dictation exercises. All we have to do is simply save it to our library. Let's call it piece one. We can assign a composer if we like and apply a whole range of other settings. Once we exit out of here, if we go to our library, we can simply search for piece one, and there it is, ready to be used in any of our questions. Note that the editor does also allow you to import music XML that you may have been working on in another external notation editor. So as I mentioned, once you have your content in the library, you can then use it for a whole range of different questions. We of course have other videos that cover question creation in great detail, so check them out. Hope this has helped. Thanks for watching.